Hey everybody, uh, I hope you guys have been doing pretty good during quarantine and staying safe and all that. Um, I hope you guys have had a, a pretty good break um, away from everything because um, what it's looking like, it sounds like we're about to be pretty busy um, here in June and July um, with some stuff going on. So um, earlier this afternoon, I sent out uh, a summer calendar to you guys for the months of June and July. So um, if you don't have that ready, um, then go ahead and pull that up because uh, in just a second we're going to go through that i'm um, just kind of event by event and everything so um while you guys are getting that out i'll go ahead and let y'all know that as of right now it's looking like wednesday um wednesday nights are going to be able to start back again on june 3rd um wednesday june the 3rd that's going to be our first um night back together um i've loved you know this online instagram live stuff on wednesdays but there's really nothing like meeting in person. There's nothing like the real thing. So um, I'm very thankful to be able to uh, to get back together um, with our students starting in June. Um, until then, I do want to encourage you guys to come to... Sorry, my dog's walking around. I do want to encourage you guys to, um, to join us on Wednesday nights um, in the sanctuary. And then Sunday morning is still going to be online, um, our worship service. I'm so sorry. Um... So Wednesday night, June 3rd, we don't know yet if that's going to be upstairs in the youth room or if that's going to be in the parking lot and just kind of have everybody bring a lawn chair um, outside. Sounds kind of, you know, redneck, but that's what we're, we might have to do. So uh, I will definitely keep you guys updated and I'll let you know a final answer later on um, this coming up week. So just keep that in mind. But regardless, June 3rd, uh, we're going to kind of kick things back off. Um, so kind of our theme for the summer um, is going to be reignite since our, you know, our, our student ministry name is Ignite. And so um, this summer we want to look at kind of, you know, just kind of reigniting that fire since we haven't really been able to meet uh, at all physically together. So that's going to be kind of our goal um, this summer is just kind of, you know, to, to, to kind of reignite um, our passion for the word and everything. So I'm very excited about, about doing that with our students. Um, as far as you know, praise our student praise team is concerned, still going to look pretty similar. Uh, might be a lot more of you know acoustic style praise and worship um, this summer. I know a lot of people are kind of in and out of town a lot this summer, regardless. So, uh, but praise team, you know, as far as as far as that's concerned, it still will be um, pretty much the same. If we do things outside, it might be you know a little more on the acoustic driven side. Um, but I will be communicating with our praise team members um, with that as well. So our first uh, Wednesday night back on the 3rd, um, we can't really do a whole lot of food stuff this summer, you know, like the food bars that we used to do just because, you know, it could get a little germy and everything. But um, our first night back, we are going to do walking tacos, which is what we were going to do like a, a couple months ago, I think. Um, but this is going to be a little different from our normal food bars. Basically, you know, everything's already going to be prepared and then we're going to have servers with the gloves and everything serving um the students their food and if you don't know what walking tacos are it's just kind of the the, the frito bags or dorito bags with the um, with the ground beef in it and um, cheese and all that kind of stuff so uh, everything's going to be prepared for them they're just going to kind of hand them their stuff and they're going to go on and um, so there's not really going to be any the students aren't going to be touching any of the food or drink or anything like that we're going to bring them in in small groups at a time and um, so they can get their get their food in and kind of move on but um, but, you know, really as far as that's concerned, that's going to be really our only, I guess, food bar that we're going to do this summer. I know we like doing those in the past, but um, we're just going to play it safe and, and not, uh, you know, not worry too much about that uh, this summer. Um, so with that being said, a couple volunteers are going to be needed on that Wednesday night to help serve the taco meat and, and all that stuff. So um, if you're interested in doing that, then just shoot me a text or comment below on this video and, and we can go from there. Um, as far as Sunday school is concerned, um, we're kind of in step one right now of meeting back in person. And so um, if you guys haven't heard by now, we're, we're going to be meeting back for Sunday morning on our uh, on-campus service on June the 7th. Um, but that's just going to be worship service. So right now we're just going to, you know, still continue to meet Sunday morning for worship in the 915 of the 1045 service. Um, but we're going to wait and kind of reevaluate Sunday school later on. Um, in the summer. So for right now, the beginning of June, it's just going to be those two worship services, 915 
and 1045, and that's starting on June um, the 7th. Um, so now go ahead and uh, take your calendar out if you don't have it already. Um, and we're just going to kind of go through um, from June and July. Um, just keep in mind that, you know, our summer is going to look a little bit different um, than summers that we've had in the past. Um, you know, uh, as, if, if you're not, you know, comfortable about sending your student to a certain event that we're doing, I, I, I totally understand. You know, that, that will not hurt my feelings by any means whatsoever. Um, I know some people are, are you know, really ready to, to send their kids back to stuff and, and other people, they, they might not be quite ready yet. That's totally fine. Um, everything this summer is going to be a whole lot more casual, very local. Um, everything is going to be free. We like free stuff. So, you know, shouldn't be a problem. Um, but, you know, again, I'm going to leave that up to y'all as parents to make that judgment call of whether or not you want to send your student to, um, to some of these events. Because I understand that, um, that there are still some concerns uh, because of everything with the coronavirus that, that's happened and everything. So, um, with that being said, you know, again, it will look a little different as far as, you know, Six Flags and all that. You know, not going to be able to happen this summer, unfortunately. But uh, everything will be local here in Alabaster. So, that'll be, that'll be kind of nice and everything, again, will be free. So, um, for, for most of these events unless it's you know specifically noted on the calendar um just go ahead and make plans to eat before you come to those events or maybe after you know whichever one but um again that's just going to kind of you know lessen our, our chances for for being all germy and everything so um obviously you know the walking taco bar the students aren't going to be touching any of that um, and then there's an oak mountain day later in the summer where we'll bring a sack lunch but for most of this stuff they just plan to um to eat before you come or um, or after, um, you know, just to just to kind of um, lessen those chances a little bit there. But um, so let's just go ahead and start in the month of June. So if you go ahead and pull up your calendar, I'm going to slide mine over here. Um, and before I start on this, I would love for so kind of as you'll notice, a lot of the stuff on this calendar is going to be separated, uh, middle school and high school. Some stuff we will do together, like some stuff outside we'll do together. Um, but again, the less people this summer, um, the safer that's going to be in some aspects. So um, as far as snack is concerned, there'll be a middle school and a high school snack, um, some middle school and high school outings and stuff like that. So um, there will be some times that we're all together, you know, maybe at, at Veterans Park or something like that. But, um, but a lot of this stuff is going to be separated. Uh, middle school and high school so uh, Wednesday night we will all be together but just for these events um, we're going to separate just a couple of them so um, I would love for for our students to maybe step up this summer and uh, and pick maybe a date that they would love to lead a just a, a brief you know five to ten minute student devotion um, and they can either do that by themselves they can do that with another friend um, but that's something that we've done in the past and that seemed to work very well so um, I will be talking to our students about that um, as well going into the summer so let's go ahead and start um, in June we've talked about June 3rd and kind of what that's going to look like um, and again I'll send that out to you guys whether that's going to be inside or outside so on June 7th um, this is going to be an all girls only event um, the senior girls are going to have a, a big panel um, for all the other girls in the student ministry. That's going to be uh, in the church parking lot. It's going to be outside um, at 630. Um, Karen Andrews is going to head that up. Um, so if you have a whole lot of specific questions, the first lady is going to have all your all your answers for this one. Um, but there's going to be a dessert bar. Um, it's going to be decorated very similar to the women's ministry event um, that was done earlier. Um, and so basically this is just going to be a time for, for our girls in the student ministry um, to come and ask uh, the senior girls really any questions that they want to, um, whether you know it's about it's about school, whether it's about you know stuff you know at, at church or really anything at all that they can think of. Um, this is just going to be a time for our senior girls to invest in um, in our younger uh, in our younger uh, in excuse me in our younger girls. So that's going to be June seventh um, at six thirty p.m. in the church parking lot. Um, the next one is uh, June the 9th on a Tuesday. Most of our events are going to be on a Tuesday um, with the goal to encourage then visitors to come and join us for worship on Wednesday. So um, June the 9th 
we're going to go to Veterans Park at 6 p.m. And again, unless this is noted middle school or high school, then that's going to be everybody involved. So um, Big Frizz, this is a game that we played back. I think it was one of those Wednesdays when it was supposed to be like a massive storm, but we had church. I don't really remember. But um, we uh, it's a big, huge game, and uh, the kids seem to enjoy it. So we're going to do that again. So that's going to be at Veterans Park at 6 p.m. Um, and again, with these events, I will send out every single week kind of more details um, about these and uh, drop off times, pick up times, all that good stuff. So that'll be that'll go out the Monday of every single week uh, this summer. And then that following Wednesday night, we'll have you know regular Wednesday night worship, um, just like we normally would. Uh, June fourteenth, the Senior Recognition Sunday, um, we'll get to honor our graduates um, who uh, most of them just graduated this past week. So. Uh, we'll have a big barbecue lunch for them that Sunday. Um, so y'all make plans to attend uh, that 1045 worship service and we'll, uh, we'll have a special service for them. Uh, then Tuesday, the uh, June 16th, we'll have a high school volleyball tournament. That's going to be um, at the church in the gym. So we'll set up the big, uh, the big volleyball nets in the gym and, and play some volleyball um, at the church that night. Um, and again, all these events, you're I mean, more than welcome to... I mean, obviously, just like anything we do, please bring, I mean, you know, bring visitors if you want to. I would love to have them to uh, to have them join us this summer. Um, Father's Day is the twenty first, so we won't do anything um, that Sunday night. Um, then Tuesday, June twenty third, we're going to play ultimate frisbee uh, at Veterans Park. There's going to be a whole lot of Veterans Park stuff on here because it's close and it is free, and free stuff is incredible. So ultimate frisbee um, at Veterans Park. Uh, on June the 23rd. Again, that's a Tuesday. Uh, the 28th, this is going to be our high school snack. So um, Sunday night after church, we will continue that this summer, um, but this is going to be our high school only snack. So we will need a host home for that. Um, it's going to be Sunday from 6 to 8 p.m. So if you're interested in hosting um, that high school snack, then uh, just shoot me a text and let me know um, so that we can get all that stuff in order. Um, then the 30th of June on that Tuesday, we're going to go back to Veterans again, and we're going to play some kickball there. Um, that sort of worked okay in the church gym, um, but on a much more real note, it didn't work at all in the, in the church gym because the church gym was a little too small, and our students were kicking the ball all over the place. So we'll have a little bit more room here um, at Veterans Park uh, to play some kickball that night. So um, that'll, again, just be a fun way we can all get together. Um, and then, of course, you know, every Wednesday we'll have uh, the Wednesday night worship, praise team, all that good stuff. So um, go ahead and flip over to July. Um, July is going to be a little bit more, at least the end of July, is going to be a little bit more um, jam-packed. But, you know, that's just what we're going to have to do, and it's going to be great. Um, so we will, of course, continue the worship um, every Wednesday night in july with the exception of the 29th that's going to be our closing night for vacation bible school um, we're going to that's kind of going to be our big family night in the church parking lot um, and most of our students are going to be helping with vacation bible school so we'll encourage them to come um, to that that evening um, so june excuse me july the 7th is going to be a middle school only movie night an outdoor movie night um, at the home of kelly and donna smitherman so um, again, I'll send out um, specific times for that um, later on in the summer. But uh, but as of right now, uh, July 7th, it's going to be our middle school uh, outdoor movie night at, uh, at the Smitherman's home. Um, and then July the 12th, we're going to have a middle school snack. Um, and again, we will need a host home for that as well. So if that's something that you're interested in, then again, shoot me a text so we can uh, so we can get that set in stone. Um, Tuesday, July 14th. Uh, this is going to be the only um, the only event that we the excuse me that you will need to bring money for. Um, we're going to go to Oak Mount. We'll meet in the church parking lot um, at 10 a.m. <coughs> that Tuesday morning, and uh, just bring five dollars to get into the park, and then just a, a sack lunch. Um, we've done that in years past, and it seemed to work very well. And also that I'm looking at this calendar now. I think that it says bring five dollars and a sock lunch. I apologize. Um, you could bring a sock if you want. I don't care. Um, bring a sack lunch for that. That's supposed to say sack, not sock. So, um, uh, As of right now, we haven't really made any plans to use 
the church vans um, this summer. Just, you know, to, again, keep it on the safe side. But we will uh, reevaluate that later on um, in the summer, and, and, we may, and we will make a final call on that, obviously before this Oak Mountain trip. So, um, and then again, Wednesday night, we'll have worship again, the 15th and the 22nd. Um, the last or week before the last week in July, on July 23rd, um, our Tuesday event is going to be uh, kind of flip-flop to that Thursday. Uh, Thursday, July 23rd, we're going to have a youth family tailgate at Veterans Park. This is for all the students and their families to come. Uh, we'll do a, a, a big cornhole tournament. We'll just play some tailgate games, stuff like that. Um, and, and we'll just have a good time uh, together. That's going to be at 5.30 p.m. Uh, my plan right now, I, I would love to have, you know, everybody bring their favorite tailgate food and we'll just have some servers serving that food. Um, that would be best case scenario. Again, that is going to be something that we will have to reevaluate um, as it gets closer to that time. Um, just, you know, just to kind of see where we are and, and see if we can actually make the food part of that happen. Um, but regardless, we will have a, a, a family tailgate that night at 5.30 p.m. Um, and then that Sunday following that, that's going to be the start of our Vacation Bible School. Um, and Vacation Bible School is going to look a little different this year. Uh, we're go so sorry. We're going uh, we're gonna to do more of, a, of an outdoor Bible club. Um, a, a, excuse me, a backyard Bible club um, with just host homes around people's neighborhoods and everything. So um, our students will be involved in that. And we'll have some of our praise team members involved in that as well. Um, and then, again, Wednesday night, the 29th, we will not have any Wednesday night activities. Just youth will have a big um, family night for Vacation Bible School in the church parking lot. Um, then uh, July 31st is going to be the start of our summer camp, uh, which I'm very excited about. Um, half excited, half heartbroken that, that few just canceled for the summer. But, you know, it is what it is, and, and we've just got to have a good attitude about it so um july 31st through august 3rd um, is going to be our summer camp i sent out an email about that i think last week um, but basically this uh this camp is going to be um, kind of a, a cross between a regular summer camp or, or maybe you know a, a, a mix between fuge and a mix between like a, a, a fall retreat or a D-NOW or something like that. So um, kind of like a, a, a glorified fall retreat is, is, is what we're going to look at this as. So um, this is going to be a doublehead resort, um, and that's going to be out in Town Creek, Alabama. Um, if you don't know where Town Creek, Alabama is, then that makes sense because you don't really have a reason to know where Town Creek, Alabama is. It's kind of in the middle of nowhere. Um, but um, it's a beautiful location, and basically what it is, they have just a, a, a ton of cabins out on this big, big lake. Um, and so uh, what we're going to do, we're gonna, we've are gonna we rented six cabins, three guy cabins and three girl cabins, um, with chaperones in each of them. Um, so our theme uh, for our summer camp is going to be challenge. Um, and basically it's just going to, our, our goal is going to be to challenge students in their faith uh, before they go back into their school year um, in August. Uh, you know, I think our students have such an incredible mission field at the schools and, and, and in their sports and everything like that. Um, but there's also a lot of ways that they can fall into temptation, which is a normal part um, of teenagers. Uh, but our goal is going to be uh, to combat that and to challenge them in the gospel um, to get them ready to go back to school. So this camp cost that I sent out last week, um, just to remind you guys, it's going to be uh, $225 a person, and that's going to cover um, all your housing, all the meals, uh, the transportation, um, our speaker and our leaders to come and help with small group and worship and stuff like that. So um, again, like I mentioned, the six cabins, three guys and three girls. Um, and so basically what those cabin situations are going to look like um, each cabin can have up to 10 people, um, including chaperones. We will always put a chaperone in, in those cabins as well. Uh, but they can have at least 10 people in there. And so um, there's three queen-size beds in each one of the cabins. So um, this is kind of where the D-NOW part is going to come in. Um, it's so easy at D-NOW to just have students bring their sleeping bags and just find a spot on the sofa or you know in, in a room somewhere. That's uh, going to be very similar to this. Um, a lot of you guys have already texted me and asked if you could bring an air mattress. That is 100% fine. Um, 
So, you know, sleeping bag, air mattress, um, things like that, you're more than welcome to bring that um, as well. So, um, I will just go ahead and say that just in case to have everybody bring a sleeping bag, just like D now, um, everybody just bring a sleeping bag, um, whether you're sleeping, you know, in a bed, in a sofa, you know, whatever. Um, just plan to bring a sleeping bag for that. Um, so, that can have up to 10 people um, in them. So, um, let's see. Let me scroll down here. Okay, uh, rooming. I don't, you know, I'm not going to announce the rooming until we get there because that's that's not even important. Um, I didn't hear one rooming complaint at D-Now, um, and I was over the moon excited. So, let's do that again um, because that, that was that was amazing. So, um, thank you guys for doing that at D-Now. Um, let's let's kind of continue that moving forward um, because it, it makes everybody's weekend a whole lot easier. So, um, rooming, you know, we I'll send that out the day that we get there. I'm so sorry about my dog. Oh my gosh, um, I will send that out the day that we get there, and um, and it's going to be great. Um, this is what I'm most excited about. Our speaker for the weekend is going to be none other than Will Snipes himself. Um, since Fuge sadly got canceled, then the only silver lining is that now we get to have Will come um, and be our guest speaker um, at our camp this week. So I'm uh, beyond excited about that. Uh, many of you guys heard him at Carson Newman and when he came to do our D now, I think it was last year um, in 2018, 2019 is when he did it. So um, he'll be our speaker there. And then the small group leaders uh, will be a couple of my Fuge staffers and um, some of our worship band members, um, which is some of the students that led worship for D now. Um, Andrew, Kendall, some people like that. So, um, so our students are going to be in really, really good hands uh, this week. Um, Will was talking to me the other day, talking about how we're going to have the dream team back together again. So our students are going to be well taken care of uh, this week, uh, this weekend at camp. So that's going to be uh, it's going to be a great weekend. Um, just a very quick layout of, of kind of what uh, each day will look like. I will send out a, a detailed schedule closer to time, kind of, you know, the, all the, the uh, packing list and all that stuff. But, but just kind of a quick layout of, of what each day is going to look like. Um, we'll, we'll wake up and we'll have breakfast. And then from there, we'll move straight into our Bible study time. Um, our uh, Bible study leaders are going to have um, kind of like a, a, a leader guy that they go by. And our students will have books as well. Um, and so... Uh, We'll go straight into our Bible study time, Bible study time, and then from then, we will go to recreation, um, and then from there we'll go to lunch. Then after lunch is we're going to have our little breakout sessions, um, and that and basically that can consist of, of a couple things. It can consist of like a couple more Bible study classes, or it consists, or it can consist of some activity outside. Um, and if you're thinking that that all sounds very familiar to Fuge then you're probably right. Um, we want to, you know, kind of get as similar to that as possible just since we don't get to do it um, this summer. So um, as far as payments are concerned, if you haven't paid your $50 deposit um, and you're planning to go, then please do that as soon as possible. Um, final payments are due Wednesday, June 24th. Um, so please have your final payments in by Wednesday, June 24th because we do have to send in our final payments a month before we go. So um, uh, for those of you guys that have already uh, paid your deposits for camp, uh, for Fuge Camps, um, I told you guys last week you can either choose to roll your deposits over or you can just choose to refund your, your deposit if you're not going to be able to go um, to camp this summer. So uh, many of you guys have let me know um, and whenever you do decide on what you're going to do, just shoot me a text so I can let our finance team know. Uh, and then again, I'll post a video closer to time with kind of our, our, our detailed everyday schedule, um, the packing list, you know, all that stuff. So, um, but as of right now, that's really all that I have for you guys. So um, if you have any questions about, about anything that I've mentioned, anything with the calendar or anything like that, um, then either comment down on the video below so that other people can see your questions uh, or uh, feel free to, to text me, call me, reach out to me in any way possible. Um, and I'll be glad to further explain anything um, that I can or, or do anything that I can to help you guys out. So um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, again, just text me with any questions and I will see y'all 
next time we're at church, which is going to be a whole lot sooner than later. So thank you guys so much. Y'all have a great day. Bye.